the mini community spreads into the design community as well and that's why we do these workshops with young students because sometimes one very straight thought, especially from a younger generation that are not influenced too much, influenced maybe about the things they like here and now for the last two years but not 30 years of experience, actually help nail things and make them very simple and very honest. And this honesty is important of so these workshops that we have. So it's not just a one-way street of where I might be teaching about how to do design. It's my view on design and then the response to what people spontaneously think of that. With me is Justin McGurk, who's a design writer and critic. What have you seen that's particularly interested you this year? Well, furniture-wise, the most interesting thing I've seen is the OMA furniture for Knoll. There's this incredibly kind of architect-y, but also luxurious and ridiculously expensive furniture, masquerading as kind of heavy industry. So there are these kind of leather armchairs where you can push a big red button and a hydraulic column raises you up off the ground and marble top tables that look really conventional except for a big red button which you push and then it kind of starts to rise up off the ground. And in a way, if you look at the way that Noel is presenting this furniture, it's like, you know, the, the standard spiel about adaptable, ergonomic furniture that you can adjust to your height, like the language of adaptable furniture in Sweden, but it's got nothing to do with that. You can just tell that the whole thing is just a performance. And I think it's deeply nostalgic for industry. And I think it's an interesting time to launch a product like that. Here we are in Milan, where the city's industry and the country's industry is, is visibly in decline. And so it's almost this message, you know, industry is dead, so now we can turn it into luxury. But also, it turns industry into a fetish. The, the piece that's getting all the attention, strangely, is this weird screen that swivels and becomes a bench and a kind of seating system, which is, I think, really interesting because it's one of those classic designs which purports to solve all these different problems, but actually solves none of them, so it's actually completely useless. It comes clearly from an architecture studio, and one that's not overly concerned with form as well, but program. Yeah.